Let's go way back in the past here on the Russell Brown Show and take this classic photograph that I've used for years for experimenting with masking. But in this presentation, I'm going to use the new masking capabilities found in Photoshop CS5. They're new and improved and really fantastic, and I'm going to prove to you today that they're for both beginner users as well as advanced users. Okay, let's get started. Now I want to use the simplest tools possible to demonstrate first how a beginner might use these tools to get really great results. Let's go right over here and select this great tool, the Quick Select tool. I'm not going to use any channels, I'm not going to use any masks, just quickly selecting the background in this case, the gray background, just like that. Holding down my Shift key, of course, I can add to a selection with the Quick Select tool. I'm going to hold down the Shift key and add in these areas of transition around the hair here. Areas of transition are areas that you can see the gray through the hair. Those are areas of transition. Of course, along the hat, you want a nice solid edge, but here around the hair, you want to determine the areas of transition. So I've selected less of the hair in this particular case. I'm not trying to get these fine details out here on the edge because those are areas of transition. Now I'm going to go over here and select this icon for masks right here. Now of course this icon appears here because I've set up my desktop to display that icon. You can also go up to the window menu and down to masks to bring that forward for your project like this. Okay, right here we click on this icon, add a pixel mask. Just like that. Now remember, you can go right down here and select invert. It's that easy. Okay, phase one, we did pretty well for beginners. Now what's next? Let's click right here on mask edge. Just like that. Let's move our refine mask dialog over here to the right so we can watch what's going on. And in particular, I'm going to zoom right in here on this hair right here on the edge. Let's go through this view mode up here at the top. If I click on this arrow right here, I can see all the different types of views I can see of this project. I can click on them one by one and go through them and see, for example, the overlay mode, the image against black, against white, the mask itself, and this one in particular, this is the layered view that I can see through to the background. Notice that each one of these has a letter assigned to it, so you can quickly switch between these. For example, I like this L mode right here, or the K key to see the mask itself. Let's go to the L mode right here. Okay, now we can see the view. Here are the basics to working with the new Refine Mask. And it's right here under Show Radius, right here. I'm clicking on Show Radius. Then going down here under Edge Detection and I'm moving the radius over slightly. What's happening? I'm seeing a radius definition around the edge of my subject defining the area of transition. So this is where it will calculate the areas of transition and give you a softer, more refined edge. I'm going to turn this off for a moment right here. The show radius is now off. If I increase the radius here, watch what happens to the hair. It starts to expand and grow because we are expanding the radius where it defines the edge of transition. I'm going to show radius up here at the top and you can see it. But also notice that the radius it's creating is this large band that runs around the entire selected region. It doesn't distinguish between those areas that need an expansion in the radius and those areas that don't, say for example along the hat. Aha! Here it is today. It's the Smart Radius button right here. Clicking on Smart Radius will define those areas that need to have expanded radius and those that don't. Checking that, then checking show radius again, you can see that here along the edge of her sweater, it's a narrow line. 
The areas along her hair are a fatter line opening up this area of transition. This is not the mask we're looking at. This is the areas of calculation for the mask. Very interesting. Let's turn this off. Let's now take a look at the mask. Remember that keystroke? It was the K key on my keyboard. And there's the mask. So for beginners, that's a really great mask. You define the hair nicely. You define the shape of the sweater and the hat looks great. And you did that entirely with Smart Radius and adjusting your radius value.